Okay, so I'm going to show you how to embed your project into your uh, blog. So essentially I'm going to go and get the code. So in my UBD, which should be on Google Docs, here's what a UBD template looks like. Under File, I'm going to go down to Publish to the Web. Publish to the Web is uh, where I will get this embed code. So down below, I will go and capture this code, we'll copy it, and now I have it. And press close. I also want to make sure that the uh, I can play with the embed. It might want to make sure that it's either public this particular document so people can see it, so that you're embedding it into something people will see. So it's a good idea to make this particular document public. I'll go back and change this when I'm done. So I've already got my embed code and now what I'll do is I will go to my blog and on the Cotail site under my sites I'm going to go and embed this into the Cotail blog and I'm just going to go into dashboard. Dashboard will take me to where I can do my posts and I will go to add new post since this is something important. In my new post, I'm just going to call this test so people can see it. And it's very important to keep in mind that this is, since this is an embed code, you must use the HTML language in the code. So I will now paste it in. And notice here, in this area right here, I do not have any sort of um, um, number for the things. But what I'm going to do is go back and look at this code again. And now it does exist. There is a width and a height. That I can play with and you're gonna to have to play with this because your all of your your blogs are gonna have different uh, widths and dimensions so what I will do is say for width a good number to be might start off with like maybe 900 but it's probably gonna be larger than that and I like squares I like them to be somewhat squared up a little bit but uh, but you don't want to take up the whole whole like a very like a long you know, could take up a lot of your blog space so I, I, here I'm just going to go like maybe 700 uh, in the frame and then uh, press visual and see how it opens up like that. Um, the preview is not going to help you so much. Um, so what I tend to do is publish it and kind of just then just go trial and error from there. So you've put your code in and that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I'm going to go up and I'm going to view post and it's probably not going to look perfect because like I said you're going to have to go back and change those numbers and so in the post notice I put it here this is not too bad you actually get to see it and it's really long um, a number of you are saying that you have issues with how scrunched up it is you may have to go back and change my advice is to go into the UBD uh, your file go into page setup and then make your margins smaller so that more words take up and so that's essentially how you do that you just go into file and page setup and then you'll see your margins here on the side and you can you can effectively change those um, you can also change the background colors and so forth but essentially here's my blog post it was a test and now my 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 UBD template is now inside of it and uh, if I can see it